So you're playing Genshin, you're doing some 10 pulls, and while you don't get a five star, you do get four star Kale. Now, what do you get with Kale besides the green haired amber fangirl? Well, Kale is a bow wielding Dendro user, and you actually get one of her for free upon completing a specific floor in the abyss. And in this video, we're going to look at the basics of Kale, how her skill works, how her burst works, all of that fun stuff. And I am going to show my full Kale build at the end of the video. So if you want to see that, make sure you check it out there. First off, her normal attacks are going to be physical. Uh, she does kind of like throw something at the end. I like her animations are pretty good. And then of course her charge attack is going to do dendro damage. Now there is nothing special about her charge attacks like some of the characters. Now her skill, however, is where we start to get into the fun part. She is going to throw this boomerang and it is going to go out and do what boomerangs do, is going to hit enemies along a, along a trajectory, along a path and then is going to return back to her. Now, the thing that her boomerang does that others don't is that you can actually affect the path that it takes by throwing the boomerang and then kind of running around with Kale. She's going to change the path of the directory. She's going to change the path of the boomerang and is going to always come back to her, hitting multiple enemies. Once it returns to her, it is going to sit there and spin around her because of an effect. Now this effect comes from her passive, where if you cause a Dendro reaction as, uh, on this list, right, right here that you can see all this list, it is then going to sit there and spin around Kale for about three seconds. Now mine might be spinning a, for a little bit longer around her, that's because of one of her constellations and we're gonna get to that. Now something else you're gonna notice about my Kale is that whenever she throws her boomerang, you're gonna see two instances of Dendro damage on the same enemy. That is because of one of her other constellations, which we'll talk about that later as well. Now, if you trigger one of those reactions, whenever the boomerang returns to her and spinning around, you can swap characters and it will continue to spin around your on-field characters. So this allows her to do some off-field Dendro application with her spinning boomerang around your on-field character. So now for her burst. Her burst, she is going to throw out this kind of her version, her dendro version of Baron Bunny. It's not gonna explode, but it is going to jump a lot within this dendro AOE, dealing dendro damage in a lot of dendro, actually. This is gonna be really, really good at applying dendro, so it can create a lot of blooms if you're on a bloom team. It can cause a lot of spread reactions or allow for a lot of aggravator reactions to happen. This is a phenomenal amount of dendro that occurs inside of this burst. Something else is that her second passive is that whenever uh, a character triggers a reaction inside of her burst, it is going to increase the duration of her burst by one second and it can go up to three seconds this way. So if you have a lot of blooms being created or a lot of aggravated spread reactions going on, a lot of burning going on, then this is going to extend the duration. So instead of six seconds, it's gonna be lasting for nine seconds. So all in all, her kit is really, really good at applying Dendro even off field because her burst does work off field as well. Now we're gonna look at her constellations because if you've got her from a pool and you got her from the abyss, you should at least have a minimum of C1. So C1 is going to increase her energy recharge if she is not on the field. This is going to allow you to get energy back pretty, uh, it's, going, it's going to allow for her to have her burst more ready off of cooldown if you have not hyper invested or invested a lot into her ER. Now her C2 is going to be what I was talking about, how my Kali was a little bit different with her boomerang. All of this basically replaces her floral sidewinder talent and it becomes this massive thing. And what this does is that whenever you cause the reaction, no matter what, it's gonna spin around her, but whatever you cause the reaction is going to extend it by three seconds. So it is going to spin around. The boomerang is going to spin around your on-field character for up to six seconds, I believe. I believe it's a total of six seconds. So you can use this much better for having off-field dendro application than just the regular one where it lasts at least half as long. Her C3 is going to be normal. Her C4 is going to give EM to your other party members once she has used her burst. So this is going to be also really, really good for passing some EM onto your other characters and just supporting your team. C6 is going to be that whenever she throws the boomerang, it is going to do a miniature uh, Kulian Ambar, which is her burst. It is going to be the second instance of Dendro damage that you were seeing whenever I was throwing her boomerang, right? It's just an extra instance of damage. Um, it's not something big. It's not like getting the EM or getting the extended amount of time of her boomerang spinning around. It's still a good, it still does extra dendro damage, but it's not like super, super great. So all that you really need is like a C4 to unlock her true off-field dendro application. 
Now, for artifacts, in this video, I was running her with a two-piece Deep Woods, two-piece Golden Troop. Let's look at some other sets. For early game, I am gonna say that an Instructor set is going to be a phenomenal option for her because it's gonna get up her EM, it's gonna get up the EM of your other party members. This is gonna be really, really good if you're using her for a Bloom team or a Hyper Bloom support, like a Dendro driver for a Hyper Bloom team or using her with Kaching. This is going to be a phenomenal option. You also have something like Exile, which is going to increase her ER, as well as give ER to your other characters, and it's going to allow her to use her burst more, meaning more Dinger application. So those two are going to be pretty good options. Now, for mid to late game, you have, I would say, like three really solid options for artifacts. First off, you're going to have Deep Woods, which if you're running her in a Dinger team and you need a Deep Woods user, she can be a very, very good one. It's going to increase your Dinger damage. It's also going to make the enemy weaker to Dinger. It's going to drop their Dinger resistance, and there's not a lot of ways in the game to do that. So this is going to make Hyper Blooms do more damage. This is going to make Bountiful Core do more damage. This is going to make uh, her just do more damage in general. This is a phenomenal option to put on her if you do not have a Deep Woods user on your current Dendro team. Next, you're going to have something like Emblem. This is going to be if you're mainly using her for her burst support, where you want her to have her burst up as much as possible for either creating blooms or allowing your other characters to get the aggravated reactions, right? Like Kaching. This could also be a really good option for Kaching. It's going to increase her energy recharge. It's going to increase the damage of her burst based on her energy recharge. This is just going to allow her to get kind of a maximum output from her burst, having on the field as often as possible, still getting some respectable damage. And then finally, you do have something like Noblesse, which is going to be a Another burst support is going to increase the damage of her burst, but then it's going to also increase your party member's attack uh, by 20% upon using whenever this character in this guy's Kale uses their burst. So it's going to be really good for getting um, attack over to somebody like Kaching, right? These are all going to be some pretty good support options. Now, if you want her to be like a Bountiful Core driver, that'll be completely different. We're going to talk about that in the next video. So for weapons, I was running Skyward Harp on her here, uh, but some other options, you do have Favonius Warbow, especially if you're running her with like Emblem, this can be a really good option. Or if you just want to use her burst more often with like Noblesse, this can also be a really, really good option just to just use her burst more. You do have something like Stringless, which is gonna get up her EM. So this would be something for like the Bountiful Core team, or uh, if we just want to build her EM and like an Aggravate Spread team, it's also gonna increase her skill and her burst damage. So this is gonna be another really, really good option. This is gonna probably not be used with Noblesse, probably not used with Emblem. This would maybe be one that we would be using for like Deep Woods or like I said, Bountiful Core. Then of course you do have something like Moan's Moon, which is gonna increase her attack, but then it's also gonna increase her burst damage based on your other team members' burst cost. This could be another good option. And then, of course, like I said, Skyward Harp is going to increase her crit rate, going to increase her crit damage. This is where we really care about her personal damage. So the build of my Kale for this video was she is at level 80 out of 80 with 13,700 HP, 1,400 attack, almost 1,500 attack, 114 EM. Her crit split is 73.3 over 178.1 with 123 energy recharge. For a weapon, I did have her on Skyward Harp. And then for artifacts, I was, of course, running her two-piece uh, Deep Woods, two-piece Golden Troop. For Constellation, she is C6. And then her talent levels are 189. I used her a lot early on with Kuki for Hyper Bloom, so I actually had her built fairly well. In the next video, we're going to look at several different teams for Kale, specifically Bountiful Core, Hyper Bloom, like this team that is going on behind me, uh, and then like a Kaching Aggravate team. So make sure you come back to see that video, and I will see you in the next one. Now we'll meet again.